Alright, you know, so just, I'm with Icy Mike. We can finally hash out the Shields versus Elkin fight. Which, if you watched it... I was not, like, wrong wrong. No, he was really close to being ultimately right. But he wasn't. Jake's arguments and analysis are nearly flawless. I do, I do this for a living, and I'm telling you, like, you can tell from beginning to end, it's all well thought out. He's thought of every contingency and every possibility. The detail I missed, you did obviously a little more research than me. I looked up her fights. Okay. That would have helped. It, it might have helped. That yeah, would have helped. Up Elkin's fights. Yeah, I watched yeah. a little bit of it, and I missed the detail of when it hits the ground. She doesn't do much. I just thought, okay, even if she doesn't do much, that's against other MMA fighters, other jiu-jitsu practitioners. I thought for sure, even a, a two-stripe blue belt would be able to tool up Carissa Jules on the ground and stay active and say, you know. Right. But I think, I don't think, I know I have insider information. I think that shot on the ground that did this, there was a shot that Clarissa threw that grazed Elkin. And then it was sort of over after that. Nice. Make me get up. And it didn't look like much, but that's a funny place to get hit. But you were absolutely right. She was not active enough. Super safe in the first two rounds. Like super, very safe, leaving nothing to chance. You're not, he's not saying this, I'm saying this. <laughs> Claressa Shields didn't win the fight as much as Brittany Elkin lost the fight. Because it was hers to lose. You don't have to say that, I'm saying that. I should, psh, I shoot from the hip. There was one part where I was basically wrong, was that Elkin definitively improved her top game. Okay. Yes. Yeah, those first two rounds, it was like she, nearly textbook. It was it was good control wrestling, very Khabib-esque. She was getting like the handcuffs, she was getting the leg ride. If you get someone oh, yeah. on the ground like oh, this, it's freaking sucks. how do you not win that? And the way you don't win that is by having the worst possible X factor. Every single round, there was a point where Elkin was on bottom in half guard and Shields was trying to land ground and pound. That shouldn't now, happen. Shouldn't happen. Right, I would ask you, how did Shields get on top? She didn't. Elkin basically fell down multiple times. Yeah, so she lost it more than Clarissa gained it. Clarissa did yeah. zero, as far as the grappling goes, zero right, except the last sprawl wasn't terrible. A lot of people were saying, oh yeah, that is, I said that's not a position, how they ended up. It's yeah. deep half, and people like, this deep half. It's not deep half. <laughs> that, that might be, that's not what she was doing. <laughs> we, she we, was hiding her head. <laughs> we can actually demo it and I can show what Elkin should have been doing except she just mentally fell apart. If she were oh, yeah. teaching a class yeah. and you were in that position and she told you what to do, she would tell you exactly the right thing. Yes, yeah. She did not know what she was doing while getting punched in the head. That's, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. And there, there is a- Which, <laughs> remember, I said that. You had, I, you had a lot of correct points. <laughs> I said, if she gets, as she gets punched in the head, you're gonna lose grappling ability. Yep. Grappler boys don't like to say that. Little grabby boys, yep. you're gonna help him with his camera. Oh. Yep, here it is. Little, little grabby boys don't like to hear that every time they get punched in the head, they lose some of their ability. Yeah. But they do. Yeah, you 100% do. You lose like most of it. All right, so Elkin, Elkin managed to recover half guard because she's legitimately good at recovering half guard on the bottom. And I said that in the original video, I'm pretty sure. She's good defensively from bottom position, specifically at recovering half guard. Recovering half guard. Maybe. And it was like, that was my best call. Um, so Elkin was on the bottom. She hooked this leg and then just tried to hide her head and shield just Bumped her in the noggin. I think they even kind of ended up, she even kind of ended up even further. Yeah, like that's, under, that's under very here. possible. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was not, she was not attempting a sweep from deep half. No. She was hiding for her life. No, and also this is, this is not quite deep half because technically this is deep half. And there is a big difference because when I pull in from here, Icy Mike goes on top of me. And there you can, you can kind of get sweeps with just your arms if you're strong and you know what you're doing. Here you actually like have to set things up because if I pull, Icy Mike doesn't go very far. He's just kind of just laying on me harder. So what Elkin could have done is she could have done something like a lockdown series, but see how I'm trapping with this inside leg? You can't be doing that because it's not going anywhere. I need to tilt Icy Mike's balance this way. So if I can transition and trap with my outside leg and Icy Mike can probably feel that. Yeah. Then if I can put I'm in- I'm spread out and I'm losing my base. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm spreading them out here. And if I can put in a lockdown, great. Honestly, you don't even need a perfect <laughs> lockdown. If I'm just trapping this relatively well, then I can kind of eat this over. If I can make him put- I out, have been sufficiently yeeted. <laughs> I don't even have to like get him that far because if I can just put his weight on his hands, he's not hitting me in the face anymore. If I can just do this. From here, Elkin could have tried to work her way on top because if you're like working back to top position, yeah. if I get this on my shoulder, I can start working up. 
And from here, I can start getting on top. Ah, that's I, not what was happening. That's not what was happening at all. Elkin was was keeping it trapped with the inside leg, and she was just trying to hide her face here. And if somebody just sits right here, they've got yeah. you. He doesn't have me. No. I, I have him until he get, loads me up on top of Yeah, him. not only am I not doing anything, but my arm is also trapped. So what Elkin should have been doing is she could have... Keeping this trapped is fine, because if I let this go to shield my face, he could sprawl back and take his leg away from me. I mean, going against shields, shields probably does not know enough to She's do that. Do so yeah, Elkin realistically could have done this shielded transition here and then regrip without shields doing a whole lot. Um, but you could you could even do this and just try and keep your head tucked while you transition your legs here. Because you switch your legs then, you can freaking do something. Minor correction to make, Elkin actually did manage to trap with her outside leg. However, she was not pulling shields in and attempting to force shields weight onto her hands and sweep her. Instead, she was trying to turn into shields. Maybe that's a thing, maybe she had a plan from there. I've never seen anything done that way and I can't figure out how it would work. I'm thinking she was trying to do the same thing she did in the first round and managed to get up. However, her arm was in the wrong place. In the first round, her arm was around shields body and in the third round her arm was around shield's leg now this could also be the case of she was rocked and wasn't thinking clearly however she did the exact same thing at the end of the second round so it could be something i'm not aware of it could be a systematic error that she happened to be making that fight and this is why all of my other videos are scripted so i don't make mistakes like this so that was what elkin did wrong and that was a loss of the fight it happened exactly like that in the second and third rounds, and a variation happened of it happened in the first round, but she had her hands in better positions and she managed to get up. And what Shields did wrong is she had a she had a good sprawl. I don't mean like a good sprawl. I mean for your first MMA fight, it was a good sprawl. Um, she had no defense from the bottom, she had no ways to get up at all. I think she got lucky. Yeah.